So here's my team. I'm using, in this set, I have three different Metagrosses if I want to switch them out. But I switch my team up a lot. I'm using, you can see the team, right? Yeah. All right. So yeah, I'm using, you have an Alakazam. Alakazam is actually really a lot. Alakazam's really good. Have you seen me play with Alakazam before? I have. No. Yeah, Joe, Jelly has, but uh, you, you haven't. Because Alakazam was in my original team, and I took it out, and I think that was a bad idea, because I realized uh -huh. Alakazam wins me every game. Uh, I'll talk about Alexander mm. in a minute. I'm going like down the list. Uh, you know, Gyarados, Garchomp, and uh, Lele are exactly the same. Uh, Metagross, this is a full HP Metagross with uh, Bullet Punch. I don't know if Bullet Punch could be transitioned for Earthquake. I'm still on the fence. Bullet Punch has saved me a couple times. I know it clashes with the Lele, but, you know, it's, it's hard to explain. It's a, it's a good attack. It has Meteor Mash, then Headbutt Protect, but it's like I said, it's full HP. I can put a full speed one in if I want to. But I'm pairing it with Butterfree, who has Tailwind. Now, I, I took off Protect for Tailwind. I'm going to try and see if I can get that to work tonight. So, no Protect on Butterfree okay. anymore. And then the Alakazam pretty much is like a yeah. Z-move Alakazam. Alright, so let's just see if I can get some wins. And I yeah. think my Garchomp should have Rock Slide, but oh well. Not the end of the world. Uh, I messed around with like a bunch of really other cool things there. Like I said, more Adrenaline Orb type stuff. I had the day off, so I just, like, goofed off and did Pokemon stuff all day. Nice. Alright, alright, so we're going up against this guy. What's his team look like? We have Lele, Marowak, Nine Tails. Alright, so this is actually pretty good for us. Porygon, Sandslash, Gyarados. So, this is why this is an example of how Alakazam is good. Because Alakazam outspeeds all of these things other than, like, the Sandslash, you know? And you could just one-shot these guys mm -hmm. if it's in the psychic terrain. So, if, like, let's say I lead Lele, Alakazam... I could go for a nuke on the Porygon if I wanted to, and I could probably live through a blizzard. Like, all those Pokemon don't have huge retaliation against my board. That's just an option. Let's see. Um, Metagross is just super good against this team. Metagross is, like, the most solid. I think I'm probably just going to lead the Metagross. Like, what the fuck is he going to do about it? Right? If he's, I lead Metagross. He has limited options. Yeah. He's already, he's already locked in. So, we're going to lead Metagross, and do I want to lead Metagross Gyarados? I think I can leave Metagross Gyarados. I might even be able to lead, like, Metagross Lele. I think I'll, I'll lead the Metagross Lele, because that'll also power up my Metagross. Remember, that's a psychic boost. And yeah. I will bring the Alkazam. And then it's either Gyarados or Garchomp. I think I'm definitely going to bring the Gyarados here, just because of the Scarf potential. Being able to outspeed the uh, Ninetales and take, like, like deal decent damage against the Stand Slash. I don't think, um, I don't think Garchomp's going to be great here. So we'll see how this does. Mm -hmm. I don't. I wouldn't say that uh, I should definitely win, but I would say I have like a 55-45 matchup if I play it correctly, and I don't get like gimmicked out or something like that. I think it's a fair assumption to say, right? I would say yeah. so. Yeah. He could, I, unless he like does something weird to my Metagross. I think I have a definite advantage here. Let's like see. a turn one freeze might. Yeah, turn turn one freeze would be pretty lame, or like you know I get encored somehow like mid game. That'd be kind of weird. So I'm clashing already with Lele Metagross. I can't bullet punch the Ninetales who wants to leave with it. It's Porygon 2 and Ninetales. This is fine. He's going to be popping the Aroma Veil. Vale. What can I do Aur with this? Aurora Veil vale Trick Room? No, he's not going to be Trick Rooming here. He's too fast. He's probably just going to be going for a Shadow Ball up onto my Lele slot. Don't you, don't you think so, Jelly? If you had to guess. He's tracing my Psychic Surge, so that's cool. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go for the Hard Nuke onto the Porygon slot, because Ninetales isn't really a threat here. Let's say I get the Porygon off the board, which would be huge. Next turn, I can just protect with Lele and Meteor Mash down that Ninetales. Mm. And that was your plan all along. So. Yeah. And remember, my Metagross benefits from the boost of the Psychic Surge. So, like, this is hell of value. <laughs> Psychic everywhere. I was actually using Metagross with a... Uh, like a psychic Z move earlier. So he's going for the, the ice Z move. I've never I've haven't seen this in game of you. I have not. I, I don't, I don't think I've think, seen it either. I don't think that's even good. I, I'm pretty sure he'll KO my way away. I'm pretty sure he'll KO it. But like it just, I still don't it think seems it's good. Like, um, it's too redundant. Yeah. It's absolute like it's it, just it not might necessary. not even KO. It's like why would you use the Z move when you could just use yes yeah, like you would just use sure cool. Ooh. Yeah. So, I will pick up the KO if I can hit with this uh, Zen Headbutt here. I will pick up the KO. Cool. And that's huge. Porygon 2 is in, like, every single team right yeah. now, since we saw that tier list. This is the, the biggest thing in the world. I'm probably going to switch out for, uh, probably Gyarados. Because I can still actually, you Jeez. know what? It's hard to say. I, I kind of want to just fodder the Lele. 
you know? Like, try and stay in and force him to use the Blizzard, because I have Life Warp, and that's exactly how much damage I take from the Life Warp. I take 11. So... I mean, but, <clears throat> but you can save your Lele so that you can proc Psychic Terrain again. That that's a that's smart and if there wasn't an any other type of terrain. There there aren't any more terrains. They also if my Lele dies, I can come with uh Alakazam, which has one shot potential on both of these Pokemon with the Z move. We know the Ninetales doesn't have the focus sash. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go for a meteor mashup on the Ninetales slot, and I think the Lele Psychic KO is the even the bulkiest of Marowak sets. So yeah, this would be yeah, forcing also, him What's up? I was gonna say the Marowak I don't think would ever have enough HP to Take a psychic terrain, uh, stabbed psychic move from Tapu Lele. It's not super effective, but uh, it can have a, it can have a vest. Actually, I'm gonna play it a little bit differently. I'm gonna play it a little bit safer. It could have a yeah, vest. Five seconds. Yeah, I, I I like the vest. The vest is uh, my second favorite Marowak set. I'm gonna protect here in case he just goes for the Blizzard. He would have killed my Lele, and that would have let the Marowak have a chance to KO my Metagross. So I would have traded one mm -hmm. for one. In this situation, I'm trading technically 0 for 1, but I'm setting myself up for a better next turn where I can go with that 1 from last turn for 2. So we've read him. We're waiting for hail. I have leftovers to counteract. And I'm just going to come with Alkazam here. Yeah, I should be good. Unless I get, like, frozen on my Alkazam. Even if I do, I don't think it's the end of the world. And I could also start, like, ally switching here with Alkazam. I could technically come in with my Gyarados, but I think I want to save Gyarados to the end of the game. I don't want to start locking myself into moves if I don't have to. But I think it's really cool. This is like a psychic team now, you know? It, it like changed the yeah. dynamic of it up a lot. So we're going to go Meteor Mash. Just got to hit the Meteor Mash. If I miss the Meteor Mash, you know, that's definitely probably going to be the game. All right, cool. So uh, I got hit with a, a Z Sleep Powder, right? Oh, what does Z Sleep Powder do? I think it's just 100% accuracy, but it gets blocked by Protect. Or, like, Protect blocked it. Okay. So, huh. that was kind of funny. And I'm surprised that his Ninetales was faster than Alakazam. <clears throat> I actually thought that even Modest Alakazam would be faster than Ninetales. So that's my incorrect speed calcing. Which means uh, Alakazam is technically not a good Pokemon to bring to this game. I should have brought something else. But, you know, look, it's... Good thing you already blew a Z-move, you know? Yeah. And this Alola should KO. And Alakazam has a little, uh... Higher speed than regular, or sorry, a little nine tails, a little higher speed than regular nine tails. Yep. Alexam, what is Alexam's base? Is one fifteen, right? Is it for speed? Yeah. So can someone check? Let me pull up Sarah I believe so. I know. I think a little nine tails is one eleven or one nine. One hundred nine. One hundred nine. Yeah. Is he's gone he's now? He's one twenty base speed. One twenty. Cool. So modest one versus timid. You know, he probably has like two or three actual points of speed on me. But no, we, we definitely even things up. Uh, we should be winning, right? He, is this his last Pokemon, or is one more? I think this is his last one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I believe so. Mm -hmm. You fought, you killed his Porygon, you just killed his Ninetales, and you also killed his Marowak. So this is just yeah. this the Porygon is what, the one what's left. Forget. And I'm just going to go with the Psychic and the Zenheba. I could go for like ally switch plays. But I don't really have to. I also wouldn't want to show that if this is like a best of three, you know? Because I still have my Gyarados in the back. And I can win with my Gyarados using Waterfall here. You gotta remember to like save all of your stuff as much as possible. Just gotta hit. Cool. We hit both of them? Oh my goodness. Alright. Cool. So, pretty good game. Metagross carried, right? Metagross just put its yeah. fucking carry pants on. And that was pretty much it. Uh, it. It pretty much made it so he couldn't bring in Sand Slash. He's like, Sand Slash won't work. There's a fucking Metagross over there. And that's the way I think when I use when I see other Metagrosses. I'm like, fuck. Like he didn't bring his Lele either. He didn't bring Sand Slash. He didn't bring Lele. The two Pokemon that would have been the hardest Pokemon for me to fight in that game. 